Welcome to Vedial Vagaparai. In this video, we are going to see one JE advanced question uh, on coordination chemistry. Let's look at the question. So this is a question uh, from 2022 question paper. The question number is question 17. And uh, there are a list of uh, complexes that are given and then their properties are given here. But one catch out here is there is more than one answer for each of the complexes. So let us look at the question and uh, find how or what is the best way to answer this question. So the question is this. So in this question, what we can first look at is uh, the uh, properties uh, which is very familiar to us, which is very simple for us. And we, uh, let us begin with the most important or the simplest thing that we can study, which is about the oxidation state of the metal and the, uh, you know, uh, what kind of uh, uh, species it is because it is very simple and uh, very easy to identify at the outset or that is the first thing that we will look for in any complexes. So um, here in this case there are only three complexes that are given uh, of uh, chromium, iron and ruthenium. And for chromium we know the uh, electronic configuration that is outermost electronic configuration is 4s2 and 3d4. And for ruthenium, it is 4D7 and 5S1. And for iron, it is 4S2, 3D6. Here, I'm not going to talk about why ruthenium is having this kind of a configuration. Please look at another video on this, which I will be putting up. So in this particular case, now we see the outermost electronic configurations are given. And it is very easy for us to find out the oxidation state of the metal ion using these outermost electronic configuration. I have already told in earlier of my videos that um, how to find out the outermost electronic configuration. And uh, uh, when we see the outermost electronic configuration, the second digit number of the 3D series is the outermost valence uh, electron. So if you say for chromium, it is 24, so 4. So you, it is a, um, having four electrons in the d orbital. Likewise, ion, you see, it is 26, so it has six electrons. Of course, the next uh, 4D and 5D series, we cannot equate like that. But it is a very easy method for 3D series elements. So when we talk about 3D series elements, there is another thing uh, which you must remember is, in case of 3D series, uh, with respect to water as a ligand, we know water has uh, uh, as a ligand is a weak ligand for chromium and iron. So the, this is also something we must remember and I have put up uh, uh, the property of water as a video shot. Please look it up in my channel. So now coming back to this particular question. So in this question, we are supposed to find out the oxidation state of the metal ions. So it is very easy for us to find out the oxidation state. We all know. Uh, let us begin with the, the first complex. We all know the CN minus is a negative ligand. So we don't know the oxidation state of the metal. So we are having uh, minus one six times, which is equal to minus four. So the oxidation state of chromium in this particular case is plus two. Similarly, there is another chromium in three. So again, we will apply the same concept. X plus water is actually a neutral ligand. So there is uh, no uh, you know, oxidation state uh, there, which is neutralized. And then the total charge of the complex is plus 2. So here also the chromium is in the plus 2 oxidation state. So in both these cases, uh, the chromiums are in the plus 2 oxidation state. So their electronic configuration or what will be the electronic configuration of chromium? So the two S electrons will be removed. And then the D orbital will be the one which has the four electrons. So this is how the electronic configuration of chromium will be in these two complexes. So if this is the case, uh, what uh, can we try to accommodate these uh, solutions with the choices? That is the thing that we have to look at. So in this particular case, we know chromium is in the um, D4 oxidation state, sorry, D4 state and then in the plus two oxidation state. So I told you to look at um, the last two options alone. So when you see the last two options for the chromium complexes, uh, the first complex will not fit into the last option, whereas the uh, third one will fit into the last option. So one of the probable answers for these chromium complexes 
is the third one having D4, which is T. Uh, whereas the first one does not fit into the metal ion oxidation state nor the D4, uh, sorry, uh, so, uh, sorry, metal ion oxide. Both of them will fit into uh, the D4 species. So we will put these two categories here, but then we will also see other things. So next what we will see is about iron. So when you see iron, again, iron is in the plus two oxidation state like chromium. We also see uh, water is a neutral ligand. So the oxidation charge on the complex is the charge due to the metal ion. So the oxidation state of iron is plus two. And uh, it is a, uh, so two electrons have been removed from the S orbital. So it is a D6 species. And this is how it is. So if it is a D6 species, again, the metal ion oxidation state is ruled out. And then uh, T is also ruled out. So in case of the iron complex, neither S nor T. Then, but then you, if you see this, um, uh, the, uh, this electronic configuration, the other options could be in the P, Q and R only. So we will discuss that later. Next, uh, let us go to the uh, ruthenium complex. So in ruthenium, I have already put it as plus four because you know pretty well chlorine is minus one. Uh, so it is the same like that of the uh, chromium complex. Uh, so you have uh, X minus uh, one uh, minus six, which is equal to minus two. So you have uh, plus four as the oxidation state of ruthenium. So ruthenium's oxidation state is plus four. So here, yes, will fit in for ruthenium. It is a D4 metal species. Why is it D4? Because, uh, you know, this one electron will be removed from here. And then there are another, uh, ruthenium is in plus four oxidation. So four electrons have been removed. So here, um, you know, uh, three electrons will be removed from the uh, D7. So altogether it will be 4D, sorry, 4D4. Uh, so that is why you it is a D4 configuration. So again, uh, you see uh, there is a uh, parameter which is T, which can also be accommodated. Okay. So the, as far as uh, the oxidation states are concerned, we see uh, the, we are able to accommodate uh, the options based on the oxidation states. So ruthenium's oxidation state is also. This is a simple uh, system where we show all electronic config, assuming that all the d orbitals are degenerate. But we know from our crystal field theory, we do not show such kind of degeneracy. Okay. Rather, we make use of the uh, crystal field theory and then we show the T2G and EG. So this is how we show. This is the T2G and this is the EG for all the octahedral complexes that we have studied. So in case of the D4 system, in case of the D4 system, if it is a low spin complex, if it is a low spin complex, then uh, we will have an electronic configuration like this. That is the D4, uh, the, the electron which is supposed to be in the EG orbital will get paired up because of the smaller energy difference between the T2G and EG. So now coming to know when will this be a low spin. So the low spin or high spin uh, characteristic of any um, complex is dependent on uh, the metal and then the um, oxidation state of the metal and then the ligand. So we know from the ligand story, uh, uh, cyanide is the ligand which is supposed to be the strong ligand. So among the ligands that are given here, you are having aqua, then you have chlorido and cyano, cyanato. So here in, in, cyan, uh, in the cyanato, you know pretty well uh, it is a strong ligand and the other two are actually weak ligands in this particular case. But then uh, when we talk about the oxidation state of the metal ion, the metal ions are all in the lower oxidation states in case of chromium and iron. So uh, in uh, case of chromium and iron, uh, you know pretty well the uh, electrons are occupied uh, in a different way. Uh, and uh, in case of chromium with water complex, both of them are weak. 
so it will be a d4 species and in case of iron also you have a d6 species and uh, you know pretty well that uh, the eg orbital uh, will be occupied let us take for example iron okay the t2g and eg orbital of iron uh, will uh, look like this because it is having a weak field ligand so you know it will look the same way as you look at a, a hybrid d orbital in a valence bond theory so this is the d6 system for iron uh, in this particular case similarly when we talk about uh, uh, the chromium complex uh, let us uh, take the eg and t2g orbitals so in case of chromium when it is with cyano group cyan okay now, uh, because it's a strong field ligand we know pretty well that the energy gap is reduced and so it is a low spin and that is what we see here in this particular case whereas when you are having a water or a weak ligand then you know pretty well it is a higher uh, you know uh, energy gap and so the d orbital electrons are, do not get paired up and so they are present like this that is there are three electrons in the t2g sorry t2g there are three electrons in the t2g and one electron in the eg orbital so this is how it looks in case of chromium so when we are talking about crystal field theory in case of chromium you will have the electronic uh, distribution like this uh, but in case of um, uh, cn you have an electronic distribution like this and in case of iron you have an electronic distribution like this and in case of ruthenium okay in case of ruthenium also you will have an electronic distribution like this or it will get paired up because ruthenium has plus 4 oxidation state so higher oxidation state makes the electrons to be paired so the electron will not be there here in case of crystal field theory rather it will get paired up here that is how it is in case of ruthenium in the sense in case of ruthenium 4 plus complexes we will see the eg orbital is vacant so this is how the electronic uh, distribution will be as per the crystal field theory so now let us go back to the options so let us see the iron complex so in case of the iron complex we have found out that it is neither having its metal ion in the plus 4 oxidation state neither is it a d4 species so s and t are ruled out and thirdly r low spin so when you talk about low spin iron is not a low spin complex in the sense you know pretty well when iron is a low spin complex all the electrons will be paired in, when it is in the d6 and it will have a zero magnetic moment so the r is also ruled out in case of iron so now the only two options that are left are the p and q so now let us see the magnetic moment so when you talk about the magnetic moment magnetic moment is given by mu is equal to root of n into n plus 2 so in case of iron n is equal to 4 so you all must remember the number of uh, electrons can be equated to the magnetic spin only mod number so uh, n can be uh, even the number of electrons is 4 then its magnetic moment will be nearly 5 so it is 4.9 so for uh, for the fourth option uh, q is correct and similarly when you see the t2g the, the the option that is given for t2g is uh, four electrons so when you see the t2g orbital of iron it has in fact got four electrons so it has four electrons so uh, the option p is also correct so for iron you have only two options one is p and q all the other options do not fit in for iron now let us move to chromium uh, aqua complex so when you see chromium aqua complex we know the metal's oxidation state is plus 2 then it is a d4 species and it is having all its ele electrons unpaired and because it is having all its electron unpaired and it is 4 and obviously it will fit into the 
q value so here this will also have q already we said chromium is d4 and it is having a t as an option and then it doesn't fit into metal ion obviously it is not a low spin complex so it is having a spin value of q and then t2g orbital contains four electron this option will not fit for chromium so in case of chromium aqua complex also you are having only q and t and uh, so there are only two options here so using these two options itself we can go ahead and find the answer but then let us also review the other two complexes so coming to ruthenium as i told you ruthenium is having a plus 4 oxidation state so obviously yes fits in it is a d4 metal so uh, obviously t also fits in but then we should also see what other things can fit in for the uh, ruthenium complex in case of ruthenium complex we know because of the plus 4 oxidation state the electrons get paired up so it is also having this low spin complex property and obviously it's uh, low number of electrons is only 2 so the spin only moment does not answer for this and then t2g contains four electrons it looks as though the t2g also contains four electrons so in case of ruthenium there is all confusion one is it it could answer p it could answer r Uh, it could answer yes and it could also answer t but then you should choose what best suits for this particular complex so in this particular complex yes is ob obvious and the only answer for this particular uh, element and so the s is a is a compulsory correct answer and then we must see between p and r what suits best we know pretty well uh, r uh, we can call it a low spin because uh, the electrons which were on the eg orbital are made to get paired up get paired up so it is a low spin okay but t2g orbital contains four electrons option can be kept on hold okay so uh, let us see which option is given in our answer okay so now is coming to chromium uh, cn complex that is cyanato complex complex so when you talk about the chromium complex i know, we know cn is a strong ligand so it will form a low spin in the sense that d orbitals get paired up it forms a low spin complex so in case of crcn definitely we can put low spin complex as an option r and then because otherwise chromium in plus 2 oxidation state will have all its electrons um and uns unpaired so it it forms a low spin complex and then uh, the next option is it's a d4 species because uh, it is in the plus 2 oxidation state so it is a d4 species so t is an option s is not an option r could be an option uh, definitely q is not an option and then uh, uh, the t2g orbital contains four electrons is also not an option so because t uh, sorry is an option so p r t okay so p is coming common to the first and the second also so let us see what is the option that is given here so what i would want you to remember is q t and p q so in all these uh, options uh, the first is the correct answer because um, oh, we saw in case of 4 p q and in case of 3 qt so only in case of 3 and 4 these are the only options you don't have any other options so these options are not found in any of the other choices so that is why a is the answer though we talked about p for the first one and also t for the second one so t because it is a d4 species uh, for uh, ruthenium and p because uh, it it can have a tg orbital but then they are ruled out because they are not mentioned here so we conveniently rule them out and using the last two as an option we consider the uh, answer a because in case of the other options 3 uh, and 4 are the uh, answers which we should rely on and they are wrong 
So we cannot use the other options. Only A is right. Hope you understood. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.